Hi everyone, welcome to Rolling with Ellie. Today we are making chocolate eclair cake. But real quick, I wanted to tell you about a really cool video I'm excited to bring you next week regarding homemade graham crackers and s'mores. I am gonna share with you different gift ideas to give these homemade s'mores kits away and also gonna share ideas for fun activities that you can do with this homemade graham cracker dough for s'mores as an activity for things like kids parties, holiday parties, girls nights, and more. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so stay tuned. Okay, so this chocolate eclair cake recipe, this is an easy recipe whether you are using store-bought graham crackers or you are making homemade graham crackers from scratch and the link to my homemade graham cracker recipe is in the description. Okay, so let's get started. This chocolate eclair cake is gonna have three layers of graham crackers. You can see here, there is three layers of graham cracker and three layers of the cream and a chocolate layer. So making this recipe, it has two parts. It has the cream part and the chocolate. So for the cream, you want seven ounces of pudding mix, three cups of milk, and eight ounces of Cool Whip. In a medium-sized bowl, you wanna start mixing your pudding mix together. So you wanna start with your milk, then you add your pudding mix. And I started off with a hand mixer, but you don't need to. A whisk or a spoon should be totally fine. I just wanted to try to get rid of my lumps. So now I'm just gonna mix this until it starts to get kind of thick. And then what I'm going to do, how I'm gonna add my Cool Whip is I'm gonna fold it in. I'm not gonna use my whisk when adding it. I'm gonna plop it on top, like you see here. And I'm gonna use a spoon or a spatula and just fold it. You don't want it to whip with a whisk because then your whipped cream will deflate. Once that is done, you can cover it and set it aside. And now we're gonna work on our chocolate. So in a saucepan, you wanna add a quarter cup of milk, one cup of sugar, and a third cup of cocoa powder. So now we wanna stir this on medium to high heat and continually stirring without stopping for two reasons. You don't want it to stick to the bottom and it will also break up your lumps. And you wanna bring this to a boil and boil it for about and not on really high heat, just medium to high heat, boil it for about a minute, and then you're gonna take it off of the stove and let it sit for a minute before we add our butter. So now you wanna add a half cup of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla. And here's the thing about chocolate. You wanna keep your wooden spoon in the center and stir it constantly and not do like you would a cake batter or a pancake mix where you're just mixing all over and spinning and turning. And the reason is this is called an emulsion. Whenever you're incorporating other ingredients into your chocolate, if you want that shiny finish, you want to pull in that ingredient slowly. I don't mean you have to mix it slowly, you just kinda, when you keep your spoon in the center, you're pulling in your ingredients slowly. Otherwise, you will have a matted look, which if you don't care and that's how you want it, that's totally fine, it's gonna taste just as good. But if you want that shiny finish, you wanna keep your spoon in the center, and it's okay if every so often you go to the sides to pull some of that ingredient in, um, but you wanna keep your spoon in the center and just keep stirring. It is a little tiresome, it takes forever sometimes, but it's worth it if you want that nice shiny finish. So now we're gonna start doing our layering. So you wanna go ahead and get your cream mixture. And what you're gonna do is do your first layer of graham cracker, and then you're gonna put your cream, about a third of your cream on top of that and just smooth it out. And then we're gonna do our second layer of graham crackers and then top that with another layer of our cream. And then we're gonna repeat this process one more time. So now it's time to add our chocolate layer, and you don't wanna put this in the refrigerator to let it cool. You wanna put the chocolate on now, because if you're putting the chocolate on when this cake is cold, your chocolate will seize up. So you just wanna pour your chocolate on and smooth it nice and easy, and it should, it should be pretty easy to smooth. So now this is ready to be covered and sit in your refrigerator overnight for at least 24 hours. What you want is that cream 
too soft in your graham cracker and it doesn't get too soft trust me it is a great texture it is so delicious this was so good I made two of these and this one you see right here I brought it to work and us girls snacked off of this for about three days I'm hoping that they'll come on here and leave a comment about how delicious it was hint hint <laughs> so anyway everyone I really hope that you enjoy this recipe as much as we did and if you have any questions go ahead and drop that question in the comment and I will be happy to answer to you and again everyone thank you again for rolling with me and i hope that you will like and subscribe i really love bringing you these videos and next week i'm going to be making marshmallows from scratch and then again i'll be making that video i told you about so it's going to be a lot of fun so stick around and have a great day everyone mm -hmm.